I give him honor. Yes. And I give him glory. Amen. 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 And I want to encourage you tonight that when you hear the message on Saturday night, live by it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Live by it every week. Amen. That's why you came to church, is to get a word from the Lord. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Huh? Amen. Uh, there's a song out there that says, I, I need a word from the Lord. Amen. Just <coughs> one word from the Lord. Amen. We all need a word from the Lord yeah. because the devil is busy. Yes. yes, mm -hmm. yes. He's always speaking a word mm -hmm. into your head. Am I not right? Well. Yeah. Yeah. Telling you what you can't do <coughs> and how it ain't going to work. Amen. <laughs> But the God that we serve, Amen. he has a positive word. Amen. Yes. Huh? Amen. How many know it ain't nothing too hard for the God that we serve? Yes. Amen. Amen. How many know he will give you what you need to do to live every day if you ask him for it? Huh? But so, so many are, are so busy listening to what the devil say. That they don't have time to seek the Lord for what the Lord has to say. Amen. Huh? Amen. So I would encourage you, each one of you, amen, to seek the Lord every day. Amen. Seek him every day. You don't have to wait till Saturday night. You seek him every day. Amen. 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 But he gives you a word on Saturday night that... that you can actually live on all week long. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. And when your cup get empty, then you get back to church so you can get it filled up again. Yes. Amen. Huh? Yes, amen. How many, how many know that, that, that you got all these blessings and, and all of the, the word of God in this cup? And every day you're taking a sip out of this cup. Well, by the time you get through taking a sip out of this cup, by the time Saturday come again, that cup should be empty. That is, if you're drinking from it every day. Yes, yes. Huh? Yes. Am I not right about it? Mm -hmm. Amen. So I give God praise tonight. I thank him that was just a, a word from the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Amen. That is not our message tonight, but it's encouragement. Because that's why you, we go to the church. That's why, that's why we, we come and we hear the word of God. Because God has equipped his messenger to bring you a word because he know what you're going through. Amen. Amen. He know what you need. Yes. Amen. I don't know what you need. I'm just the messenger. Amen. 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 And he puts the word in the messenger's heart and the messenger must deliver the word. Amen. Because somebody in there need to hear what God got to say. Yeah. Ain't that all right? Amen. Somebody in here been praying all week long, and they need a word. Amen. If, if, if it ain't but just one word, Amen. they need a word from the Lord. Amen? Amen. Amen. Those of you, if that word don't hit you, just store it in your bank of words. Amen? Huh? Amen. Because one day, one day you're going to remember because you may come up. How many know that everything that goes around comes around? Yes. Amen. Huh? Amen. Uh, uh, what, what, uh, it's nothing that, that one person is going through that some kind of way the rest of us won't wind up going through at some period of time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Huh? Amen. And then you can reach back and get that word. That is, if you've heard the word, if you've listened to the word, uh -huh. and you can apply that word to your situation. Somebody Amen. ought to give God praise. Amen. 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 Give him praise. Amen. So the Lord wanted me to encourage you tonight to listen up. Okay. Huh? Amen. Take that word down. If, even if you, you know, so many people don't believe that they can write in their Bible. I use a Bible marker and mark it in the, in the Word. The scriptures that I give you, you should be marking them down. You should use your Bible. I encourage you all to bring your own Bible. Amen. 
so that you can write it. So one day when you're going through something, you can go to the book and find the very word that has been preached about that situation and that circumstance that you may be going through. Because you may not remember it from here. But I'm here to tell you that it's all in the book. Yes. How many know it's in the Amen. book? Amen. Huh? Amen. So some of you are trying to remember some things and you can't remember, but I want you to know it's all in the book. Amen. I said it's in the book. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. That's why we have the Bible for it. It is our road map to glory. Yes. Amen. I said it is our road map to glory. That's right. Uh, you can't you can't get to heaven without this, huh? Amen. Because you will not know how to get there. Amen. Amen. Without the Word of God. Uh, if you have your Bibles with me, go with me to Saint Luke. Mm -hmm. Do you love the Lord tonight? Amen. I said, Do you love the Lord Amen. tonight? Amen. Everybody ought to be a witness. Amen. Uh -huh. How do we witness? We witness by saying amen. 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 Huh? Hallelujah. St. Luke 1. And if you have it, go to verse um, 30. You got about five verses. Where you from? Amen. Amen. We have it stand for the reading of the word. Verse 30 says, And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. And the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Amen. You may be seated. And give now praise for his word. Verse 35 says, And the angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, mm -hmm. and the power of the heights shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Amen. I want you to look at these words. The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest. Somebody say power. 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 Of the highest, of the highest, shall come, shall come upon thee, shall come upon thee, and the, and overshadow thee, overshadow thee. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That that those words right there, that the power. Our message tonight is: without power, we can do nothing. Amen. Without power, we can do nothing. Amen. Amen. I'm talking about the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Without power, you can do nothing. Amen. How many of you remember when you didn't have the power of the Holy Ghost? Uh -huh. Yes. huh? How many of you remember that? Mm -hmm. yes. and, and, and you can do nothing. Amen. Am I not right about it? Yes. Nothing seemed to work out. I said nothing seemed to work out. The more you tried, the more it didn't work out. 
I, this message came about because the day when Brother Hunt and I came over here to get the church set up and make sure that everything was ready to go for tonight, we had no power. Brother Hunt came in before I did and he turned the light, tried to turn the lights on like we usually do and he says, we got no electric. I said, what? He said, we ain't got no electric. He said, I'm gonna have to go next door and I'm gonna have to see if they got power. So I said, oh my goodness, we got church tonight. No power, no power, no lights. No power, no instruments. Come on now. Amen. Amen. And so Brother Hunt went across the street, over there to the next house. They had power, but we didn't have no power. Our power is hooked up differently than their power. Amen. Our power is hooked up from the pole out there, and then it runs on the ground. So our, our power is separate from the other houses mm -hmm. around here. Mm -hmm. Amen. And here we had no power. So Brother Hunt comes in and he goes through all the fuses and see what he can find out why, why there was no power. And to make a long story short, but, uh, we had to go back to the house and call Nipsco, find, let them know that we were in distress. There was no, no power over here at the church and that we had service tonight. And I'm thinking, how am I going to get in touch with everybody that lives out of town that might be thinking about coming to let them know there is no power so we would not be having church. Church, when I came in here with no power, it was darkness. Uh -huh. I mean, I could have pushed the curtains back and we could have gotten a little bit of light. But then there would have been no power for the instruments. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then I can remember a time when they didn't have power for instruments, but they had church anyway. Mm -hmm. So I thought to myself, well, then maybe we'll just have to go back to the old time way. Amen. But then by the time we get into our service real good, amen, we would not have lights to be able to see for me to be able to even preach or you for you to even read your word we take so much for granted uh -huh. yes. because the electric that that had, that god has blessed us with yes. amen it fuels so many things it would have been hot in here <laughs> Y'all always talking about how hot it is. How many know we've been hot in here? Uh -huh. No air conditioning. Amen. How many know it's been stuffy in here? <laughs> no air conditioning. Amen. How many know you would you would you talk about your KC even with your glasses on? <laughs> how many know it with the dark with in the dark you really wouldn't have been able to see? <laughs> Am I not right about it? Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. So it gives us the power. The power of electricity gives us light. Amen. 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 Not only not only that, but it also operates our appliances. Brother Hunt was out, and I went over to get some gas after we got a hold of Nipsco, and Nipsco said they that being that we were a business, that they would they we get first priority. Mm -hmm. I said, praise the Lord, because I'd already come against Satan. <laughs> I'd already come against them. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I said, now, Lord, I know that you can fix this. Mm -hmm. I'd already prayed. And Brother Hunt did that. Amen. And the man said, uh, when we come out, amen, uh, that's that power, Brother Hunt. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Amen. That power that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, amen. It does that with that air conditioning. But, but uh, what I'm trying to say is, is that the power... Amen. That 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 the, the the people from Nipsco said that they would be out here because we were first priorities because we were a business. I said thank you Jesus. 
Amen. You recognize that. Mm -hmm. Amen. They came, right? We, we was going away to the port, and they, Brother Hunt said, there he goes. And so before we could get back from the port, I think it was, amen, his, his uh, phone went off, letting us know that we now had power. Praise God. So on our way back from the port, we stopped back here, and we got things straightened out, what we needed to straighten out for service tonight, uh -huh. amen. Amen. But I wanted to use that. I mean, God showed me that without his power, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can do nothing. nothing. Amen. It's just like we could do nothing without natural power. It would have shut us down. Yes. And I can just hear some of y'all complaining about, I can't see. It's hot in here. <laughs> Wow, you know. And yet, there would have been no way I could have got in touch with everybody. And then someone would have been upset because I came all the way to church. And no church. And I didn't know it was no church. I could have stayed home. How many know how we are? <laughs> so as I was sitting there, God spoke into my heart and he said, just like you didn't have no power, and you could do nothing. You couldn't see, you couldn't vacuum, you couldn't do nothing, amen. You went back home because you didn't have no power. It's the same way people do in their Christian lives, amen, when they don't have no power. When they try to do something and, and, and the darkness is all in their head, there's no light. Mm -hmm. How many know the gospel brings light? Yes, it does. Amen. How many know Jesus' word brings light? Amen. Huh? Amen. Into a dark world. Yes, it does. Huh? Amen. So without that light, without that power, church, there is no way that we can live the kind of life that we live. And Mary wants to know how in the world, now this ain't no Christmas message, but I saw the word power there. Mary wanted to know how in the world can I conceive a child when I know not a man. She, know, she realized that the only way that you could conceive a child was by being with a man. Am I not right? Yeah. And the Holy Ghost, the, the angel spoke to her and said, by God's power. Amen. How many know by God's power you can do anything? Hallelujah. How many know but by God's power you can do everything? Amen. There ain't nothing that you can't do, amen, if you use, let God's power work in you. Amen. Am I not right about it? Amen. Huh? And the angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Ghost. How many know that power? comes from the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. Huh? Amen. And I, I want to encourage you all, you know, I, I know that uh, you can get more Holy Ghost. I know you got the Holy Ghost. You got the Holy Ghost, else you wouldn't be here. But I, I'm trying to tell you, you can get more of the Holy Ghost. Amen. How many know you can get more power? More power. Yes. Amen. How, how many know those that ain't been filled with the Holy Ghost, I mean filled to overflowing with the Holy Ghost, got a little power. Amen. But those that get filled with the Holy Ghost, amen, to run it over, got a whole lot of power. Ain't that what the Lord said? Amen. You can lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Amen. If you got that kind of power. Mm -hmm. If you got power in the Lord Jesus. With the Lord Jesus, amen. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes. Amen. You ain't got to be no preacher. All you got to have is the power. Ha. Amen. Huh? Amen. Uh, you, if you got that, got that kind of power, amen, in the Lord, you can speak to the devil and he'll have to flee from you. Yes, amen. Amen. That's right. Huh? That's right. Many of us, we got the, some of us got the power and we don't use the power. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. That's just like being in darkness. If you don't use it, if you don't go turn that light switch on, you ain't going to have no light. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. I've been
may know that, 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 that electricity is flowing through this building, amen, but if we don't turn on the light, how many know we're going to be in dark, darkness? That's right, that's right. And we're going to be wondering around, what how come I can't see in here? How I many know one of y'all, you, you can't see how you're going to make it in first uh -huh. thing. That's what you're doing. You say, I don't know how I'm going to make it because I can't see no way. Because you ain't turned on the power. Mm. Y'all looking at me like, <laughs> have you turned on the power? Amen. You got the ability, if you got the power in you, you got the power to speak to the devil and tell the devil where to go. That's right. That's right. You don't have to be in darkness. Amen. But you're going to be in darkness if you don't know, if, if you don't start using the power that God has given you. Hallelujah. Huh? Because the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. That's what happens whenever I, I run upon something and, and darkness is trying to over, overcome me and, and, and problems are trying to overcome, overcome me. Amen. I remember the Holy Ghost. Amen. That I don't have to take that from Satan. Amen. And I'm here to tell you that the power of the highest overshadows Amen. me. And reminds me that I don't have to take that. Amen. 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 See, if you, if you ain't got, you got to remember that if you feel with the Holy Ghost and power, amen, you got power. Huh? The Bible say, amen, when you speak power, amen, to the devil, he has to flee from yes, you. Yes, that's the word. All problems and all situations have to come in line with the word of God when you Amen. speak to it with the power of Almighty God. Amen. Yes, oh, glory. I said, oh, glory. Amen. Huh? Yes. Thank you, Lord. I'm speaking to him right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he said, you just walking around up there like you ain't, you ain't hurting. Yeah, I'm hurting, but I'm speaking to you. Because by the power of Almighty God, I'm going to preach this message. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to preach it standing up. Amen. Somebody say something. Amen. 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 Go to St. John. Amen. Without power, we can do nothing. But with his power, we can do all oh, things. Yes. Huh? Amen. Amen. You can speak to your... Whoosh, you can speak to your body. You don't have to let your body just, just deteriorate. You can speak to your body. If you got the power of the Holy Ghost, you can speak to your body and tell your body to behave. Amen. Amen. I said, ain't that all right? Amen. Huh? Yeah. Ain't that all right? Amen. Praise be to God. St. John 1. Mm -hmm. Amen. It says, St. John 1. Let's look at verse 1. Mm -hmm. huh. John says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, yes. and the Word was God. Mm -hmm. The same was in the beginning with God. Yes. Huh? Amen. All things were made by Him. Did I not just say that all things were made by Him? Uh -huh. Huh? Uh, man think that they made electricity, but uh, God put that in their head. Mm -hmm. huh? So it was made by God. Ain't, ain't that right? Amen. How, many, how many know where electricity comes from? Amen. Don't it come from the wind? Don't it come from the wind? Amen. Amen. Am I not right, Brother Daniel? Amen. Huh? Yes. Amen. You got Amen. solar power. You got all of this. The wind helps make the electricity. And... And, and, and also water, am I not right about it? Or oh, who put the who put the wind here? Who put the water here? God did. Amen. And so God put it in man's head how to put yes. it all together to bring us electricity. Amen. We go around talking about man did that. Man didn't do all that. God did it. Amen. If God, if God did it, did that, he can do it. God spoke that. The, the heavens in the bed. Don't you know he can make some electricity? Yes. 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 
Glory be to God. He put everything here on this earth that we would need to live a decent life. Uh -huh. Did he not? Yep. Amen. 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 All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. Uh-huh. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. Uh -huh. He was not that light. He was not, he was not the light. How many know the light was Jesus? Amen. Yes. Amen. He was not that light. John was not that light, but was sent to bear witness mm -hmm. of that light. Amen. And once we have been born again, Hallelujah. we come to bear witness of that light. Of that light. Amen. Everybody in here that's born again, you ought to bear witness of that light. Amen. Amen. Which is Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Mm -hmm. How many know that true light will come into every man? Yes. yes. Amen. Uh, he was in the world, and the world was made by him. How many know the world was made by him? Ain't that what it said? Mm -hmm. yes. And the world knew him not. That's right. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. Mm -hmm. Now, verse 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. You believe on his name? Yes. Amen. I said, do you believe on his name? Yes. Verse 12 says, but as many as received him. Have you received him? Yes. Had you received him as Savior and Lord? Amen. To them gave he power. He gave you what? Power. power. He gave you what? Power. To become what? Sons of God. Sons of God. Amen. Even to them that believe on his name. Amen. See, them that don't believe on his name and them that have never really received him. They don't understand this power. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why you got so many folk out there running around. They don't they don't know where they're going. They don't mm -hmm. know what they're gonna do next. They'll have no idea mm -hmm. because they have never received this power. Amen. Amen. They have never received the Lord Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. But it tells you right here in St. John that as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. How many in here are sons of God? Amen. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not saying son, uh, men and females. We all are sons of God. Huh? Amen. Amen. And, and am I not right about that? Amen. Amen. But without power, we can do nothing. Without that power, church. You can't do nothing. Amen. You, you know, you have to make up in your mind that you're ready to really, 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 really ready to receive Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. That's right. You, it, it ain't something to play with. You make a decision and you stick by it. Yes. That means... You have come out of the world mm -hmm. and into God's kingdom. Yes. Yeah. The kingdom of God. How many know the kingdom of God is in Jesus? Uh -huh. Amen. Huh? Amen. In other words, you begin to live a different life. Mm -hmm. You change your lifestyle. Amen. And the more you change your lifestyle, the more of that old nature that falls, that comes off of you, the more it grows off of you, the more of the new life will come on you, and pretty soon you are a new man. Amen. Amen. You are a new man. Yes. In Christ Jesus. Amen. Old things pass away, and behold, all things become new. Huh? Amen. Everything looks new. Everything. Everything you see looks looks different, yes. and then even the scales come off your eyes, uh -huh. and all of a sudden you can see truth. Yes. Yes. I mean, no, and you stop believing a lie. Yes. Hmm? 
I mean, no, the devil tells lies. Uh -huh. Yes, he does. And until you make that decision, that, that, that heartfelt decision, it ain't a decision you make with your mind. It's a heartfelt thing. It's a heart thing. And once you make that, ain't you tired of living all kind of crazy ways? Ain't you tired of the devil beating you all upside the head? Yes, amen. Are you tired of not being able to figure out how you're going to make it? Yes, amen. All you got to do is give it to Jesus. Give him your everything. Yes, amen. See, some folk like to just give him a little bit, part of it. But you get a little bit of something, you're going to have a little Little bit of, little bit of blessings. Amen. You give God a little bit of you, little bit of blessing. Amen. The more you give, the more He gives to you. Yes. Amen. And I ain't talking about money. I'm talking about your life. And the more of your life you give to God, the more He'll give to you. Amen. Huh? That's Amen. right. Pressed down, shaking together, and running over what he poured out into your bosom. Huh? Right. I said the more you give to God, you give God, when you give God your whole self. Hallelujah. That means you stop holding on to some of the things you want to hold on to. Mm -hmm. now, it ain't going to happen all at once. Little by little by little. You give God, give it to God. You got a problem, you don't know how to solve it, give it to God. That's right. Stop trying to figure it out yourself. You got a problem in your home, give it to God. Uh -huh. You got a problem with your spouse, give it to God. Huh? Yeah. Amen. Listen, I love Brother Hunt, but I don't love Brother Hunt more than I love God. Well, you don't amen. love God? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> As the song says. Amen. You don't love God? What's wrong with you? I don't know about you, but I love God. Amen. I'm serious about this thing. That's a song. But I'm serious about it. I love God. Amen. I love Brother Hunt in a natural sense. God gave, gave us each other down here on this earth. Amen. But if, if, if I, when, I, when, I, when I die, I'm going all by myself. Huh? Yes, I can't take Brother Hunt with me. Right. Ain't that right? Amen. Right. Amen. So what am I saying to you? I'm saying to you, don't put your wife, don't put your husband before God. Amen. Amen. Hmm? Don't put your bills before God. That's right. Huh? Amen. Don't put your children before God. Amen? Amen. Amen. We, we, have, we have a way of doing that because we love our children. But this is, this is a, a natural love that we have for our family. Yes. But, but, but what we have for God is a spiritual love. Yes. It's, it's totally different. If you don't love God, you ain't going to know how to love your wife. Or oh, you ain't going to know how to love your husband the way you should. Amen. If you don't love God. That's right. And I know sometimes our spouses don't understand this love that we have for God. But if they would catch on and start doing the same as we try to do, they would, find, they would figure it all out. Yes. Amen. Huh? Yes, amen. Amen. And we, if we together, that's why it says that if, 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 if the husband and wife pray together, the family stays together. Family that stays, prays together stays together. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they got one love and they're united in that love. Mm -hmm. And that love is the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Huh? It's, I know it's, it's hard when one is loving God. And one is not loving God, huh? 
Huh? I know that it's hard. But that don't mean that you stop striving because the Bible says that if that if if you love the Lord and you live the life in front of your spouse, you can help your spouse learn, amen, how to love God too. Amen. But if that spouse draws you, then you don't really love God. Mm -hmm. If that spouse don't love God and want to do walk the way God wants you to walk, amen, and they draw you back out there, they don't really love God. Amen? amen. And I'm not, I'm not saying kick them out. <laughs> well, yeah. that, that ain't the word of God. No. Amen. If they want to keep living with you, the, the, the Bible says you're supposed to stay with them and try to live a life in front of them. Right. Ain't that right? Amen. Amen. So now, we can't do nothing without the power of God. So in order for you to be able to live with that spouse that is ungodly, amen, in order to live with them, you better have some God. You better have some power. Amen. Because the power of God is going to keep you out of being in the dark. Amen. How many know that the power of God will, will tell you about things that is going on? Yes. Amen. Amen. That you can't see with your natural eye. Uh -huh. But he'll speak to you in your quiet time mm -hmm. and let you know what's, what the devil is trying to do mm -hmm. in your home. Yes. Huh? On your job. Yes. Wherever you may be. That's right. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Power of the Holy Ghost, church. Mm -hmm. yes. It'll turn the light on. Mm -hmm. Yes. How many know that it'll turn the light on? Amen. 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 Go to Amen. Romans. Romans 1. Mm -hmm. Amen. Chapter 1. All these verses was in that I'm giving you was in chapters, chapters 1 of each one of these books. Mm -hmm. I was amazed at that. Romans, the first chapter. Uh -huh. Look at verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. I'm going to read verse 17. For therein is the righteous of righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith as it is written. The just shall live by faith. Mm -hmm. I say you live by faith. Amen. Huh? Things ain't working like you think they ought to work. You still live by faith. Yes, you don't understand how things is happening, but you live by faith. Huh? Amen. Amen? Amen. Amen. For I am not ashamed of the gospel Amen. of Christ. For it is the power of God mm -hmm. unto salvation. Mm -hmm. To everyone that believeth. To who? To the Jews. To who? That what? To him that what? Amen. To him that believeth. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then it says here, to the Jew first. I mean, no, the word of God came to the Jew first. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. But then it also came to the Greek. Amen. And how many know it came to the rest of us that neither Jew nor Greek? Mm -hmm. To the Gentile. Amen. Huh? Amen. How many know the word, amen, is with us? Yes. Yeah. Huh? By this book, we have the word of God. Amen. And if we live by this book, we live according to the word of God. Amen. Amen. And I just love it, what, 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 what uh, uh, Paul says here. He says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. How, are you not ashamed of it? Tell somebody, I'm not ashamed of what he does. Amen. Amen. I'll tell you something else that he said, too. He said he, that, that everything that you put your hand to, he'll bless it. Yes. Amen. You can't get no better than that. 
When you put him first. Amen. When you allow him, the, his power to work through you, everything you put your hand to, he will bless it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. Every time I get a good garden, I say, thank you, Lord. I put my hand to that garden and you blessed it. <laughs> I don't know how to grow things, but you, but by listening to you and by your power, Amen. you bring it forth. Huh? Amen. Amen. When, and, and, and here, you know, I didn't know, we didn't know what to do, but, the, but on, the, on the bill, for the electric bill, it tells you in an emergency, call this number. Mm. I told Brother Hunt, what we're going to do is we're going to bring that number over here to the church so we don't have to go all the way back home. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. But they, within a couple of hours, they had the electric back on. Yes, amen. So we could have church tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they got an emergency number. Yeah. Ain't that all right? Amen. amen. Huh? Yeah. How, many, how many know it was an emergency? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Amen. I just thought to myself, I, we ain't going to be able to have church tonight. Mm -hmm. but then the Lord reminded me of the emergency number. Huh? How many know we got an emergency number with the Lord Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. Huh? 219. 392. 393. J-E-S-U-S. Somebody ought to say J-E-S-U-S. J-E-S-U-S. Is that all right? Amen. All we got to do is call them up. Call them up when there's an emergency. Huh? Amen. How many, how many know that, 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 that that, that because we are a business. Amen. Amen. We are in the business yeah. of, <laughs> of serving the Lord Jesus uh, Christ. Hallelujah. We are in the business of, of taking care of the Lord's business. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. They'll answer right away. Amen. Huh? Amen. Ain't that all right? Amen. 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 I think we got better service than some of them other businesses. <laughs> huh? Amen. 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 Before me and Brother Hunt could get to the port, the man was there on 35. Mm -hmm. Brother Hunt said, there you go. I said, all right. Amen. Before we could get back from the port, he'd already called, told us the service was back on. Thank you, Jesus. We had a storm here the other day. I don't know if it blew out a fuse or on the pole or what it did, but... I thank God. Thank God. Amen. Amen. That's the way God works in our lives, church. You got an emergency? Is there an emergency in your life? Amen. 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 There's an emergency number you can call. Amen. Did you hear what I said? Amen. Amen. How many when they're going through something, you'll say, Jesus? Amen. Let's call it. Call it. Call on him. There's power in that name. Yes. I said there's power in that name. Amen. Amen. I, I, I believe there's so much power in that name that I, which I didn't think about it today, but amen. I, I could have went out there to that pole and just started calling on the name of Jesus and it might have came back on. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. But the Lord told me what to do. Mm -hmm. By his power. Yes. Huh? Because by without his power, we can do nothing. Mm -hmm. I got one more scripture for you. Amen. Colossians. Ain't this a life lesson tonight, yeah. church? Yeah. I said, ain't this a life lesson tonight? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Colossians 1. Amen. Look at verse number 12. Have it say amen. 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 Colossians 1, verse 12. Giving thanks unto the Father, mm -hmm. which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. No, let's, oh, let's see. Verse 12. Giving thanks unto the Father, which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in life, 
who have delivered us mm -hmm. from the power of darkness yes. and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, yes. in whom we have redemption through his blood, mm -hmm. even the forgiveness of sins. Amen. 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 Who have delivered us from the what? Power of darkness. How I many know he delivered us from the power mm -hmm. of darkness mm -hmm. today? Amen. 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 Uh -huh. Amen. Naturally and spiritually. Yeah. I believe somebody in here spiritually has gotten delivered from the power of darkness. Amen. 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 I do believe that. Amen. Amen. Our God is a good God. Mm -hmm. He's worthy to be praised. And it ain't nothing that God won't do. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you just put your trust in him. Right. And ain't nothing that his power will not show you how to do. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. If you just put your trust and confidence in him. Because it's by his power, not your power. Amen. Ain't you glad it ain't by your power? Yes. Amen. Huh? Amen. But it's by the power of Almighty God. Hallelujah. I know sometimes we... We, we, we get where we, we want it to happen right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> but by his power, Hallelujah. it happens when he wants it to happen. Amen. Yes, amen. 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 And what are we to do? We ought to accept that. Amen. Huh? Give him and, and That's right. And give him praise for what he's done. Amen. amen. And I'm going to tell you something, church. A lot of times God blesses us and we don't give him praise for it. Well, amen. Huh? Amen. We don't give him praise for it. We just take it as a matter of fact. And Don't you know that the more you praise God, the more he'll give to you? Amen. 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 Huh? Amen. When God blesses you with it, whatever he gives, gives to you, give it back to him. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Man. He didn't give it to you for you for you just to enjoy. He also wants you to turn around and bless him with it. Amen. 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 Hmm? Amen. I know sometimes it's, it's hard. It's hard to hard to think in these in these terms. Mm -hmm. But you just think about. You just read the word of God. God wants you. To bless, wants to bless you, but he also wants you to bless him mm -hmm. with your substance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and, and some of us have got this, bless me, Lord, bless me, Lord, bless me, Lord, type of spirit. We are always looking for a blessing. When are we going to be a blessing? Amen. When are we going to be a blessing? Huh? You can be a blessing in a lot of different ways. Amen. When you bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord with your substance. Amen. Bless the Lord with what he has blessed you with. Yes. Amen. He's blessed you with the ability to sing, bless him back. Amen. He's blessed you with the ability to play instruments, bless him back. Yes. Huh? Amen. Amen. He's blessed you financially. I'm just got to say it. Bless him back. Amen. Hmm? Because I'm going to tell you something. That job don't always have to be there. That's Amen? Amen. And money coming in don't always have to be there. How many know that he said the silver and the gold and all, all of that on a thousand years belongs to who? God. Amen. So if he blesses you with a sum of it, don't you think you ought to bless him back with some of it? Yes. We got to learn how to be a blessing unto God. Amen. Huh? Amen. Because that's the word of God. I'm, I'm talking about when you turn yourself over to God, the more power you allow God to have in your life, yes. the more power he going to give you. Amen. Huh? Am I not right? Amen. I said am I not right? Amen. Give the Lord some praise. Amen.